All right, Frank, we'll stay on it. Going to be really fascinating to follow. Tonight, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra kicked off its outdoor summer concert series. Tonight's performance outside Orchestra Hall was the first of seven free shows scheduled this month throughout the city. Our Tim Pamplin was there with a the night cam. As the sun set over Midtown, the sounds of the Detroit Symphony started to fill the evening air. Folks dusted off the lawn chairs, aired out the blankets, found a place to rest the bones and enjoy some music the right way. You know, art is a communal experience. You can listen to it on Spotify or on the radio, but you have to be like with people to really appreciate it. Temperature checks were taken and the mask policy strictly enforced. Social distancing rules were adhered to. That made everybody happy. The energy that you feel as a performer is just as important as the energy that the audience feels from a live performance. We have been doing a lot of online and virtual performing and teaching for the last several months, but this is really where we make uh, the connection with the audience and with the community. I'm absolutely thrilled to be playing tonight. This evening was the first of a series of concerts around downtown. On Sundays, they hit the road. This Sunday, they were along the riverfront at the new Robert Vallee Park. The following Sunday, they head to Gabriel Richard Park. And then on the last Sunday of August, they head down to the De Quinda Cut. And every Wednesday evening, they perform here, next to Symphony Hall at Woodward and Parsons. Tickets are free, but obviously limited. If you enjoy classical music, head on over to Click on Detroit. We've put a link to the schedule. A wonderful evening in Midtown, courtesy of some members of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. With the night cam, Tim Pamplin, Local 4.